Hello, and welcome back to Metro Last Light. I'm Chancel, so known as Moros. In the last episode, we did the Sniper Team uh, DLC for the game. Uh, in this episode, we're not going to do the Tower Pack. I'm thinking we're going to do it as the last thing. It'll be like a very long, because this is the longest level in the entire game, because you have to go through multiple, uh, basically, gauntlets with a specific weapon or something like that. So we're not going to do the tower pack. Uh, we will do spider level con Anna Pavel. And then if I feel like it, we'll do the tower pack and I'll record it. But if not, like, because it's a very long level and I don't really feel like doing it. It's the only achievement I need to get when I'm done all these levels, though. So that's why I'm kind of like, maybe. Uh... Because I off screen did all of the game once again as Bad Boy Artum, killing everybody, um, not being a good person, yada yada yada, all in Spartan mode, of course, so that I get all the achievements for Redux. So that's all that's left is Spider Level, Pavel, Anna, Khan, and Tower Level. So today we're gonna do Spider Level or Spider Spider Lair. <clears throat> During the years past, uh, the I can't speak. During the years that passed after the war, we stalkers left no stones unturned in accessing regions of the city in our search for resources. That's why the news of D6, a colossal secret bunker found recently in the pristine state, had such an impact. All the metro is dreaming of a secret military facilities not marked on any maps now, and I'm hoping, like these ones, <laughs> it doesn't announce that. Oh no, we're not going Spartan. Uh, oh wait, we are going Spartan. I'm, I'm not dealing with. During the years that passed oh, you after the me? war, we stalkers well left no stone unturned, in the accessible region of the city, in our search for resources. That's why the news of the D6, a colossal secret bunker found recently in a pristine state, had such an impact. All the metro is dreaming of secret military facilities not marked on any maps now. I wish I could visit a place like this, though I have no idea where to start looking for one. <laughs> Alright. Through the fire. Ooh, I like how they're having cinematics now. Or chapters. Ooh, what the? I'm assuming we're gonna use the flame flower and fire ammo. Well, Petrovich, this is where that silo is, you see? My father huh. used to serve there, so he told me. And there's not a single map to it, that's for sure. Do you see the possibilities? Oh. Sure I do. But even though there are no maps, some guys already did go there, and none returned. And how do you know that they went exactly to this place? We're in Venice right now. Well, they went in its general direction. Well, even if they did, they were no match for us. <laughs> we are coming back. Never fear, Petrovich. Let's drink to our success. Why not? Well, Making sure I'm recording. Success. Okay, because sometimes I can never tell. Or, not that I can never tell. It's sometimes so I do stuff. recordings in such I succession that I don't remember if Let's I hit record. Would you care for a light? What the hell? Are you mad or what? Your damn jokes are worse than Botswain's. I quit whining like a little girl. To hell with you, you comedian. I know you well, but you could scare the new guy off. So, are you coming with us? Yeah. You see the gun Petrovich carries around. We'll be safe with him. <laughs> to luck. To luck. Two days later. I mean, it took some time to travel. Holy fuck, wait, what? What the hell? Well, it seems like things did not go in our favor. <laughs> find Petrovich and find Simon. Yeah, my cat's name is Simon. Gotta find my cat. And he's right there. Cleaning himself on my bed like always. And we're sleeping.
Okay. Um, well, I don't have to burn 20, uh, 20 or so, uh, spiders like in the original Metro Last Light, so luckily I could just get on through this level. Two shotty guns. So we're basically fortune hunters, aren't we? Well, somehow I recovered my HP in between now and then. Oh! Dead boy. Clearly we're not gonna get fire bullets because those are not the fire bullets. Hey, Lynn. I guess that's to teach our protagonist that the spiders don't like light because we, as the player, already know that. Unless you, for some reason, play this DLC before you play Metro Last Light, which is not a bad thing. I mean, they kind of set it up to teach you to play the game even without playing Metro Last Light, but, you know, DLCs like this usually are meant to be played after the main game as something to do while you're, you know, not doing stuff. Oh, fire bullets. And, I mean, not fire bullets, but, uh, flamethrower rounds. Getting a lot of supplies, but all I got is my lighter. Uh oh. Hey, they reused the, uh, the animation for, for, uh, when the hell was that? I think it was in a with half full god Okay. That's the lift that our tier mentat will run. If this is even the same area. I know we've encountered these uh Oh, well, is this Simon or I just guess it's Simon. Like... Oh god. Okay, okay. It's interesting, they're making us powerless, but not that powerless. Because we could still fight. Kill these two bad boys. Grab some fire ammo. Well, I'm just gonna proceed. 
you could attempt to follow me if you wish. Fire ammo. Two shotgun shells, a gas mask, shotgun. What am I looking for? Petrovich. I knew it was Simon. Because Petrovich was the one that wasn't. Or Simon was the one with the flame. Petrovich was the one with the flamethrower. Simon was the one that was talking the most. Oh my god. Oh, what? Oh, I guess I wasn't meant to fight these guys, I guess. Oh, well. I did anyways. Okay. Oh, hello. Get the hell out of here. Whoop. It was a pull, not a push. One minute, wait, what? I only have one minute to spare? After all those... All the... Things I grabbed? Well, I mean, I got six minutes total. Oh god, you... Dumbass. Spider. He almost killed both of us. Hey! Flaming ammo! Or not flaming ammo, flaming grenade! Beep 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 Yeah, yeah, I get it. I mean, I get the reasoning towards the fact that we never see how we got into this situation. But I'm just wondering, how did we get into this situation? It's not difficult to find out how we got into this situation. I'm just, I'm just overall curious. I mean, it's not needed to progress our overall story. It's just more of a, I want to know why we're here, in particular, because I get it. We're looking for D62. D7? Question mark? Oh, well, there is Bratrovich. Hey, come on, man. You're dead. Does he have nothing?
I mean, how can I lose now? I have the ultimate weapon. 200 flame bullets with 38 to spare. Fire effect. Wink, wink. Didn't even use that much. Oh, I can't use my lighter though while I'm wielding it. Makes sense. But I killed you. You know, some of these are not really spiders, more like Trilantial. Well, that. Trill. Hmm. Tr. Tr. I'm trying to say Tarantula, but I can't. Uh, also, I don't have enough filter, so I better stop screwing around. I can't beat this level if I don't have air. That was my dumbass. Bolt. I, I saw it too. I'm fixed at both sides. You know, I have fire. You think that these uh, things would realize I wield that power? I mean, they are primitive beings. True. They are just spiders. Stop reloading. I just want to pick up the ammo. Okay. I hear them. They don't see it. Which means... I'm either in no danger at all, or in the most danger that I've been Got two minutes of air. I am a dumbass! Convenient that the place I'm looting has a lot of gasoline specifically for flamethrowers. It's almost like they knew I was coming. Oh, what the. Where the hell did you come from? At least we could live our fantasy of burning any and all spiders alive. I mean, I don't care n about burning spiders all too much, but I know a lot of people who are. 
afraid of spiders. Very much so. So, if you are living out your fantasy with me in this level, I'd very much appreciate it if you let me know. Just say like, yeah Chance, I am totally enjoying the burning of all and any spider related uh, extremities. And I'll be like, you're a monster. <laughs> I might be the one burning the spiders, but I very much neg uh, very much like spiders in terms of I don't want that, I want to do this. I like spiders because they are the reason why mosquitoes do not eat my flesh on a regular basis. Now, is there something I am missing? Ah, here it is. Boink! We're currently in some form of missile site. Oh. Nice. How dare you come out? Interesting that these creatures have evolved to not like the light. Like, in what e evolutionary scenario would light sensitivity to a degree that literally melts your flesh away uh, be a benefit? You might be saying like, well, I mean, they didn't need light to live, so uh, that's why. But, I mean, granted that's a good reasoning in terms of thought. They don't need light, we're in the metro, and there's no sun, so, you know, it kind of makes sense. However, uh, as a species, you'd think that evolving to have flesh that melts upon bright light would be not smart. And again, it could be because of the radiation which caused a uh, severe mutation, a severe negative mutation, which is possible. I know that is a, a part, it's why people most likely die from exposure to radiation, even at the small levels of radiation dosing. You know, because, like, radiation screws with your DNA. And most likely will give you negative things like tumors and whatever. But these species, and maybe, like, that's the reason why they have the armor-melting feature of light. But when you think about it, they evolved to have that trait and didn't immediately remove it after reproducing. Which, in my mind, does not make sense, because you think they evolved, reproduced, they would eventually reproduce and evolve that trait out, because it's such a negative impact on their species. Right? Doesn't that make sense? I mean, look at these things, they're dying instantly, just because of the sunlight. They literally cannot live in sunlight. That is such a negative trait to have as a species. And it's not just like the spiders, because there's also the like scorpion things. It's not only a trait given to them, like, like given to one species, it's given to two different species, unless they are the same species and the spiders have managed to evolve a scorpion-like tail, which is possible. And there's also the possibility that they didn't evolve into this and that uh, the Russian government made these creatures, which is something that is also possible because um, uh, that's what the Dark Ones won. I, th I thought the Dark Ones were human beings that evolved into Dark Ones, but as we learned from 
the diaries, which I never actually read because they were just more of an achievement to get rather than something to read. Which is my bad. Please don't hate me. Anyways, um, the Dark Ones were most probably a creation of uh, humanity to resist radiation in, term in case of total nuclear annihilation. Which, some mission well uh, succeeded in. Because that's exactly what they did. So we blew them up. Because as much as they could resist radiation, they cannot resist uh, high-powered explosives. Take a step back, reassess the situation, because one, my thing's getting dark, two, HP was low, three, flamethrower was running out of juice, four, I almost killed myself. I hate that it automatically reloads, uh, the, not that. I hate that both the loot and the reload button are on the same key bind. Or controller bind since I'm playing with the controller, but you know what I mean. And it burns, burns, burns! The spider layer! The spider layer! Imagine if I get copyright from that. I'm so good at singing. None shall live. Look at all these dead spiders. I hope people are enjoying the fact that I'm killing a bunch of spiders. Uh, for my own protection, of course, not for... <laughs> for fun, but... Just for fun. Uh, wait, no, not for fun. Not for protection. Yes. Um, did I just run across to the same side? Where am I supposed to go? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, this door apparently opened. I don't even know what this character's name is, but I hope... Um... Did I just... Launch a nuke? Now I just released the horde of uh, uh, speeders on me. Uh oh. Well, seems our trusty weapon is now no longer useful. I dare you. Step into my parlor. Am I supposed to die or something? I don't think so, they're giving me a lot of supplies to survive. Oh, wait, this thing's open. 
fucked up. Alright. <laughs> Good luck, little ones. Through the fire and the flame. Well, uh, that's it for this episode. So, I'd like to thank y'all for watching. I'm sticking around for next episode recording session thingy, and I shall see you then. Bye bye.